start. Every must must understand this very well. It's how you are the supreme light. And all the souls are attached to this light by an antakarna or a divine thought. Okay? And then many of them are stuck in this place. Many of them are stuck down here. They are all stuck, all stuck with all the villagers and whatever belief not you have. Until you go down there, you are never going to go. You are going to get stuck here. You still have a council body, but you are not attached to it. Okay? Now this one lady, she said, she said, So, Eric Tessimon from Mumbai, Hope you are doing well. It's a great that you have been thinking and helping so many people and traveling and teaching endlessly. Really, hats off to you, sir. Hey, I don't wear my hats nowadays, sir. I must start wearing my hats. That's like it came, Happy Guru Purnima to the best teacher of life I've ever met. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, I like that. Happy Guru Purnima to the best teacher of life I've ever met. Thank you. Yeah, we talk about everything, eh? Talk about soul, talk about food, talk about nature, this, that, this, that, water, fire, everything. Eh? I promise to you on January 20th that the Dada session in Mumbai, Mumbai, India, that I will send you a proper, properly explained testimonial video on soul elegant song of PDAs that was immensely helped in my life and I wish you can help others with the hands I have tried my best explaining my experience and process of this video. Please go through it and let me know if there's any part that is edited or reshoot or even the whole video to be reshoot. Don't worry, madam. I take it the way it is to be reshooted or I will do the same. And since that point for sending the video so late as I'm immensely busy with one of the toughest exams of the world. And thus I wanted this video to be perfect and I was conscious that it was my first video for YouTube. Hope this video turns out to be the purple to many. Once again, sir, thank you. Please feel free to reach me on this number. Okay, so she's the one. Her name Kira Joshi. This is the video she sent. Let's watch the video, my friend. And I say thank you to her. Okay, let's watch. My name is Kira Joshi. I am from Mumbai in India. And uh, today I would like to share my experience on Soul Elevation Song of PDH. Now why this song is being used? What exactly is this solution to this kind of problem? Uh, I generally experience a lot of ghost encounters and I come to know if a place has many souls. So I had many experiences since my childhood, wherever I have gone, in my college, in my some workplaces, in my own building where I stay on the building terrace. Uh, it was not a pleasant experience. And uh, what used to happen is that I feel that there is a presence of something uh, supernatural over there. And I can also see them sometimes directly. From the first dream which I am able to see, in the second dream it's gone. I am able to see from the corner of my eyes also. And sometimes their face comes in my mind. Like how they look. Uh, and it's very... Uh, to see how they are actually looking and after knowing that, that you are uh, at the same place with that kind of energy, that kind of food, it's uh, very uncomfortable. So I used to run away from such places because many times I used to hear sounds, I can see such people, uh, they are trying to communicate with me or uh, that really increases my heartbeat. I just cannot do my work then, I cannot stay calm. And this kind of issue is very difficult to explain to people. If no one is going to believe on me. My friends used to laugh at me. What is this? There is no thing called ghosts. There are no souls. So uh, it was difficult for me to explain. And I keep running from places to places because I didn't know what is the solution to this problem. So then finally, when I came to PDH, and uh, I came to know about the soul elevation song, which is going to be uh, the solution for this problem. So when Sir came to Mumbai, Shiva Sir, who is the founder of Prana Vaidya King, 19th of August 2022, Sir had came to Mumbai and he had conducted Art of Dying workshop in Mumbai, Mulu. So I was very eager to attend because I myself stayed in Mulu and it was my first session of PDX Live I was going to see Sir. First of all, I was very happy seeing Sir with the positive vibes. I saw hope for my problems. Uh, I was very really happy that something has came up that is going to solve so many of my problems in my life. Something I have never heard of, I couldn't believe in the start, but when I started following it, it's really magical. So when I uh, attended Sir's workshop, here you can see the pictures and the video. 
so it was a very very uh, amazing experience first of all all the doubts in my mind got clear when sir started explaining in how the souls get stuck here because of their own desires their own mistakes their own uh, inability to forgive their uh, own people or even someone outside their family so because of this things the souls get stuck here now the souls don't know how to get elevated how to move on to the next world or how to find a way out so they are just uh, stuck here being struggling that is the reason why they try to communicate to you i was not able to stay calm that means the souls themselves are not being able to stay calm at all they have developed more desires than us because they see us enjoying life they see us doing all the things so they also feel like doing that especially in my case when they came to know that this girl is able to see us So she is a ray of light to us. She is going to uh, help us get out of this world. So that was the reason they were trying to communicate to me. So I got literally so shocked because earlier I was so scared of them. Right now, uh, currently also I am, but now I have more empathy towards them. I feel so bad that uh, they are being stuck here. They are not able to forgive. They don't know the way out. So I am the one who is going to help them out, who are helped further. So uh, lots of clarity I got in that session. I was really, really happy because he uh, gave so many examples. And in that session, one uh, astrologer had also came and even she, she confirmed that Martin Luther soul had came to, and even he got elevated over there. So that was the power of source class that day. And uh, I never thought life that way. No one has taught us to think that way. what thinking sir has the way he thinks the way he understands things very deeply each and every aspect like each part of the world each part of our body our cells we know everything so it's uh, hats off to sir for possessing so much knowledge and that is the reason why he is able to solve so many problems you take any name he has solution to all these problems so we are coming back to the soul elevation so uh, from his uh, session first of all my mind was very clear how the souls get stuck here it's not their mistake and it's our duty to help them they only that place gets positive they are also able to move ahead and we are also able to stay calm peacefully from so session i also come to look came to know that he had been to many places throughout the world where he had found so many um, souls who were being stuck for so many years with their different desires and how he had convinced them to move ahead to the further part this so i understood one thing that this is not going to be an easy journey because first of all uh, there are two things first we have to forgive whoever they are having with and secondly we have to convince them so uh, it was a bit challenging because uh, we are not dealing with a human person who we can talk and we can convince and we can counsel them and we can change their thinking we are going to deal with the souls the something supernatural that we cannot see that souls might get angry that they might attack us So I was a little bit scared also, like how I'm going to do it. But uh, I just wanted to try it because I know I'm going to help them, and I know I'm going to help myself also by making that uh, place also a bit positive. When there are souls, you're not able to work peacefully. You develop so many anxiety, depression problems. You're not able to focus on your work. You you constantly feel being watched. Now I'm not telling if you feel all this, so there are definitely going to be souls. But uh, yeah, presence of souls can lead to all this problem. Uh, I've also heard of many suicide cases. Now these are also done by the souls. So yeah, now coming to how we are going to use the soul elevation song to and help elevate all the souls. So first of all. before proceeding to to make sure that i i myself is free of any uh, calls or blocks and i i myself have learned that all the forgiveness which i am supposed to do every morning as soon as i get up first i clean my aura then i do balancing of my nadi then i do aura cleaning of my emotional body then then i do a nadi balancing of my emotional body then i do aura cleaning of my mental body and nadi balancing of my mental body a healing condition ka agnya chakra because my decision should not go wrong whatever i should be free of any negative energies or cords i start reading the affirmation booklet so this is the previous affirmation booklet so i start with all the pages from one then to 5 7 11 12 13 
every day make sure morning i read these pages and then i start going a heavy soul elevation song because i myself has to be very pure my all the three auras of my body should be block free cord free so that i can help others first i am able to help myself first i am able to make my aura strong then only i can help others so yeah so once i'm done with all this i start doing the soul elevation and this is a complete procedure how you should also do it so first we should keep page number 7 of the affirmation booklet open here so this is for uh, for giveness when cords from dark energy white magic strong cords from souls past life souls of cords have been identified dark energy is cords is done to the family the whole family needs to This is the most powerful page of the affirmation booklet, and this page will also help the souls to forgive everyone. Because first of all, we don't know their whom they are angry with. Maybe they are regretting on their own mistake. In that case, they should read page number one. If they are angry with their family, they should read page number three. If they are angry with their neighbors, then page five. If they are angry with their wife or husband, then page. So we don't know. So most powerful one is page seven. Who have from whoever you are so much angry since so many years. I have been maybe you are getting dark energy or black magic or white magic or any curse from them. So for all such things, page number seven is going to be very helpful. So page number seven you have to keep open. But this is for the soul too. So what I do is keep this page open, and I use a purple wand. You can use any wand, white wand, pink wand, uh, any wand you have. All the wands work fine for this process. And I hold the wand at my Ajna Chakra. Now, what is Ajna Chakra? Between the eyebrows, this part is called as Ajna Chakra. This is the uh, from the chakras point of view, this is the most essential part because from here you get all the energy. So when I'm keeping here, so I'm getting all the energies from this symbol, Bhagwudar symbol, directly into my Ajna Chakra. But what this will do is it will open up a ray of light from my Crown Chakra to up. That that will be a pathway for the souls to move ahead. If the souls can follow that part, and I think we get elevated. So these both steps are very important, and the most important is playing the soul elevation song from the YouTube channel. So now people who don't know how to find the song, so here it is. You just go on YouTube, you search for TVS soul elevation. So this is the song which is being displayed, and this is the song which you are going to play for this whole process. This is a five-minute song. While playing this song, I am keeping this book open. I'm closing my eyes and I'm keeping the wand on the Ajna Chakra. After closing my eyes, I'm going to convince all the souls that all the souls present in this house, in this house or around this house, you can do in your office, you can do at any place. Please come here. You can speak in any language because souls understands all language, and you can tell them that please read this forgiveness. Please forgive whoever you are angry with. There is no point in being stuck here. Just move ahead to your uh, further life. Maybe in the next life you will have a much better job, much better partner, much better education, much better kids. Much better life is waiting for you. I'm, and I'm confident that you are going to get a much better in terms of everything in life. There is no point you are just seeing people uh, doing everything and achieving everything, and you are just able to see them but not able to perceive any of them. So I start convincing them that way. So that uh, uh, they are able to understand my message. Now I'm I'm speaking in my mind. So even if you speak in the mind, they are going to hear it. I have tried and tested. So you can trust me. This is going to work. It's being played. I'm holding this uh, wand is on my Ajna Chakra. I feel a movement on my Crown Chakra as if some light has started. So my Crown Chakra is going up uh, towards the divine light, and that is going to be pathway for all the souls too. Get elevated. Sometimes the place is very negative, so you have to see how many times you have to play this song. Like in my house, I have to play three times because there was a lot of negativity, and uh, I sensed with my wand. I asked the wand. Now sensing is totally a different topic. You can find different videos on it. How to do sensing? What is sensing? But it's basically a prediction that you do from your wand. You ask the wand. What should we do? Is this good for me and all that? And it has helped me in so many places. So I asked the board that how much is the negativity, and according to it, how many times will I play? We told me three times. So every day I make sure I three times I play this song. This song not only removes all the negativity and anxiety from me, 
but it also helps elevate the souls from your place. Now what happened is I had moved to a new office which was near a crematorium. Now I didn't know there was a crematorium over there. And I used to feel so many souls over there. Whenever I used to play Hanuman Chalisa or the soul elevation song, so automatically my phone will stop. And the things will fall on me and uh, there are very weird things happening, I can't explain. So I started a soul elevation song and uh, I was not holding page number 7 and more. So I was not following full protocol but I was just playing the song. And then I saw a dream that a lady came uh, in my dream and she was standing outside my office on the window. She was floating on the air and she was telling me don't play this song because I am not going to harm you. So that literally gave me goosebumps because next morning again I had to go. And walking over there exactly outside the window she was standing and there and is my workplace to sit and work. So it was a bit difficult but then uh, I stayed calm. I thought maybe she is looking to me like a danger. Maybe I am going to land her in more problems or maybe I am pushing her to a different pathway where she doesn't want to go. So uh, I contacted the previous volunteers and I came to know that I have to convince them by closing my eyes and holding page 7, holding the board. And also, uh, you have small pages of forgiveness booklet so that also you can sleep on the board. So that they start reading and start forgiving. After that I did the same thing uh, with proper protocol and two to three times and the phone got eliminated because earlier I used to, what I used to feel, I used to sense I was not able to uh, do that later and I had got so much uncomfortable at that place that I called my Catholic friends earlier to purify that place but nothing worked, they came with a cross and it, it didn't work like after that also the same things continued, so I realized that uh, other things are not going to work. Permanent solution to this is a soul animation song of PH and that's what I did. And I've been doing it uh, at so many places in my house, wherever I am I do it because sometimes the soul is not only at your house or in your office or at a specific place, the soul is can even enter you. So this happens especially when your aura is weak or you are passing through places which are near to crematorium or go to certain haunted places where you are not supposed to go and the soul gets attached to you will be attracted to your beauty or uh, will be jealous of you or some way or the other attracted to you so the soul enters your body and of course it's uh, very important to do soul elevation and remove all the negative energy not only souls get attracted to you, but in black magic it happens that souls are being sent on you. So that you remain always depressed and uh, you do certain things which you are not supposed to do. Now some people won't believe that, but I am saying because I myself have experienced these things in so many years. So I can tell these things with confidence and I, I literally hope and pray no one has to face this because it's not simple. It makes your life really tough. And I am so, so thankful to TVH, to Shiva sir who has came up with this soul animation song and uh, gave so a uh, straightforward solution to this problem. Every day, anytime, anywhere, at my own convenience, I can play this song. I am not only helping that soul, but I am also helping myself to come out of all the negative energies, forgive everyone. And it, it really makes the place so peaceful and so nice and we can literally uh, be a ray of light to that souls. Now many a times it has happened that even after you convince the soul and souls if are very rigid, they are stuck for since many many years or they are in very high numbers and you won't be able to convince them. In that case only sir will be able to convince them. So you need to get in touch with previous volunteers. But if as much as possible you do it yourself because only if you feel safe, you can always do sensing with the ward and ask the ward that will I be able to do, then if, is it safe for me to do it, then you can do it. Because uh, if you are not able to do it, over a phone call only, sir will convince them and sir will elevate all the souls. If you are taking sir's blessings on Sunday at the same place, then there are very less chances that souls are going to exist and they are obviously going to get elevated in that procedure also. But separately also you can do it. 
and uh, it it obviously helped to get uh, so much blessings from the soul because they stuck for so many years and now they will they are going moving ahead they are going to get a new life so uh, they are really going to bless you I never need this opportunity and I do it myself uh, except in extreme cases where I know I am not supposed to do it then I only tell uh, previous volunteers to contact all and uh, they will uh, serve me formally for the procedure. So this was my um, complete testimonial. Out of that workshop, I also came to know many people are attached to certain things uh, because of their religion. Now I won't take the name of any religion, but you might know as you are doing this and you think after doing this you are going to meet God, but you are not going to meet the God. And uh, this does not happen. So souls get very really disheartened. They are emotionally attached to those things. They are bound to believe those things. It doesn't happen, so it's going to break them. We do all these things, so souls get stuck here. So it's very important that we stay practical in life. We don't possess so much emotional attachment to things, to people. We should always be ready to go ahead for further step. We should always trust God that whatever is happening is happening for the good, even if it's not happening in our way. So we should always have that mindset. By any chance, we should not get stuck here. So for that reason, I'm telling uh, people have so much attachment to their things, to their property, to specific religion practices, to way of living. So don't do that. Stay calm, stay humble, and stay unattached to things. Just think that this is my life. I'm going to help others. I'm going to take blessings. And whenever the time comes, I will be ready to move ahead for further life because I'm very really sure I'm going to get much better life for him. So that way we should be ready. Obviously we are not going to, going to jump in that, in that situation where the life ends. But uh, we, our mindset should be such that we should always be ready to accept change, to ready to move ahead. We should not get stuck because end of the day it is going to hurt us only. And most important, we should forgive everyone. Whoever has done wrong with you is going to get their own karma. So we should not blow, boil our blood and we should not uh, being stuck to one thing, repeating one thing, then like why he did with me, why should it with me that way. They are going to face whatever they are going to do. What you can do is just forgive and move ahead because that part of chapter is closed. Why you want yourself to be forcefully stuck over there? If it's closed, it's gone and dusted. That means God has given you a chance to not be in that bad situation and move ahead for further better situation. But you are forcing yourself to be confined in that bad situation only. So don't do that to yourself. You should forgive everyone. Because this, these things create a lot of problems for them. People don't realize that no one is uh, there to come and share these experiences. We have realized this because of PDH. Because, because of SOS uh, extremely superb knowledge, we are able to know these things when we are alive only. So to avoid all these kinds of problems, we should um, not do such things which will make us stuck over here. And we should have a very forgiveness kind of nature. We should trust God that whatever happens is going to happen for the good. And uh, we should keep helping others, keep doing good for others. We think that is also going to pay in not many ways. I have myself experienced. And yeah, that's all for the soul elevation uh, testimonial for today. I will come up with my own some more experiences which I have uh, benefited a lot in PDH so that all of you, my friends, can also benefit from it. And we all can grow together. We can all come out of all the negative times and all the negative um, energies around us. We can become positive. We can grow. We can achieve our dreams through PDH. PVH is a big savior. How much ever thanks I should tell to PVH and Shiva sir is uh, very blessed. It's, it's not going to be enough. He's doing an amazing job. He's thinking so much for the people. Um, nowadays, even the families don't think uh, for their people so much. How much sir is being concerned of everyone's problem. So, hats off to Shiva sir. And thank you so much, Shiva sir, for helping us so much. This issue was uh, bothering me since so many years. And I don't know how many times I will keep running from places to places. And I won't be able to stay calm anyway. This issue has finally solved for me. And I'm so thankful to Shiva sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>
Thank you, thank you, thank you, madam, for this lovely video and the background song, a solid song. Remember, guys, I've been telling you this all. It only takes a clairvoyant to see and understand what I do. It only takes a clairvoyant. There's one clairvoyant in, um, in Rio de Janeiro and she saw exactly, and she came forward and she said exactly what I was doing. You know, so you must watch all these videos and see what we do. What is your individual uh, healing and on the spot here and there. But when we go to places like uh, Auschwitz, places in many, many places, in temples and places of worship, and many, millions, millions, not one, not two, millions. So that's how imagine what happened. So remember this, you don't have to go so detailed like her, like taking up the Ajna and going up, there's no need. Just put a song and hold the wall, it will happen automatically. The song that is playing has been programmed for soul elevation, and the biggest advice you see, because she's a clear one, she's teething, but there are some souls who don't want to go. They are trouble creators. So don't play the song again, so be careful. Find out with the wall, what can do, what cannot do, and start doing. Or make them sit down during the time that we had got there. Say, always open the affirmation and put on there, and the soul will read accordingly. So don't worry about it, okay? So don't have, you guys, don't want to cut this video and share all. I will do it properly, officially, and I'll share on YouTube. You all can watch it. Okay, my friend? Don't say, oh, I'm going to cut, I'm going to share with my family. Man, don't do that. Please. Always I say, don't ever do that. I will do it officially. I will cut it nicely. It will take me a day or two. And you post it such a way that everybody can join one video of this. Okay, my friends? I already have people saying that, oh, I'm going to cut. I will share with you. I will share. There's no need. There's no need. You need a good translation in other languages that we understand. Okay? Thank you, madam, for your for your lovely trouble you have taken. And at least you have come out to... Uh, uh, very glad that you have come out and tell, as a clear way, what you see in the song and everything else. That's why I'm telling you guys. Mm -hmm. You are not just simply wasting our time. We are here to help mankind as much as possible. Not forgetting Mother Nature. So we have so many talks, we put it properly today and one fine day you can also do that. One day I will sit down and do all the blessing of our Mother Nature. You can play the song also. You can play the Mother Nature song. It will be very soon, okay? So thank you again for this uh, wonderful video that you have prepared. You have taken all the trouble. The background song and once in a while. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So all of you don't trouble her now. Go out and look for her, where she is and trouble her and all kind of stuff. She's just sharing. Like that, there are many, many clay ones in the world who don't want to share. Who don't want to share. It is a big secret they want to keep on themselves. I tell it's very wrong. If you don't share in this world, nobody's going to know. And finally, you found somebody who's going to share. Or always tell. It takes a proper clay wire to see what we do, doing the blessings and going to all of these places of worship and doing and elevating all the millions of souls. Millions. There's still some people have to go. And I'm going. One is Mount Fuji in Japan. One is going to the Middle East. Lots and lots of souls stuck there. Stuck there. So when I go down there, I hope we have Facebook Live. And let's see. So I need all you guys to, to support me in any way possible. So we travel the world to help the soul. Because one fine day you'll be a soul yourself. Not knowing where to go. Full of PVH. The moment you die, you're gone. Full of PVH. You're gone. Back to your castle body. They're not going to hang around and say bye bye to this person, see who's going to come for the funeral, what they're going to do. That's all finished. Let them do whatever they want. Okay, guys? Thank you, madam. Thank you very much for your trouble of explaining. Thank you, thank you, thank you.